So I've had a question from a teacher using Google Classroom, uh, how to use a form as a quiz. Uh, just having some issues getting that to work. Uh, I did a little experimentation this morning, uh, and I think I know what's going on. Just a, a little note here, I know Google, this is a brand new product. Uh, right now it's limited to announcements and assignments. I'm guessing that before too long you will see a quizzing option right down here as something you can post to your students. For now, uh, using a form is probably uh, a really good solution for that. So what I've done is I've created a, uh, a very difficult quiz here. Um, I can read and understand this question. Questions doesn't, don't matter. Um, but I want to post this to, uh, to my classroom. Normally, you would think it's a document. If I make my uh, assignment, click on Google Drive here and, and go find that. I'm going to say this is a quiz because that's what I called it. I get the responses, which I don't want, uh, and then here's the actual form. If I click Add right now, it says, oops, you can't attach forms directly. Please add a link to the form. It doesn't tell you how to do that, um, but I can show you how to do that. So from my, from my quiz, I have some, some options up here in the, in the menu bar. Uh, view responses will show me the spreadsheet of the student responses. Uh, but I click here to see view live form. And so once I'm viewing the live form, this link up here um, is what I need to insert as a link for my assignment instead of uh, attaching a document. So instead of clicking on uh, a drive attachment, I'll click on a link. I will paste the link there, click add. And then once I make this an assignment, uh, it'll give me a link to that, to that form and show me a little preview. So I'll click assign now. It'll take it a minute to uh, assign that to my class. And so now there's the easy quiz. There's a preview of it. This is the name of the document. I can see that uh, none of my students have finished it. 35 uh, need to get going on it. We can have a discussion about this assignment here in the comments area. But that's, that's how you do it. Uh, when you're done uh, collecting the student options under the responses, you may want to uh, view responses. There's a tool called Flubaroo. Uh, it's an add-on that you can add on to your uh, Google Forms. I've already used it once. Once I add it as an add-on, I can use that to grade uh, Google Forms as like a quiz and it will email the students back. It, it's pretty cool. So uh, to find that, you would click on Get Add-ons, search for, and it's right here, Flubaroo. But if it's not there, F-L-U-B-A-R-O-O, and click Add right here instead of Manage. I've already got it installed. Uh, but that will allow you to use Google Forms as a quizzing mechanism and then have Flublaroo grade it, give you the scores, and, and email students back uh, what they received on that, on that assessment. So hopefully that helps with this teacher and uh, with, with the rest of you all looking to use Google Classroom in in new and exciting ways. Good luck to you all.